Good morning. Thanks for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Molly Hendrickson. And I'm Brian Sanders. Let's get right to our top stories. The San Juan County Sheriff's Department says it finished recovering the bodies of three Eagle County men killed in an avalanche. That avalanche happened Monday between Silverton and Ofer. One of the men is Mayor Pro Tem of the town of Eagle, Andy Jessen, as well as Eagle City Council member Adam Palmer and Seth Bosung. Officials say their bodies need to be flown out of the area by helicopter. Deputies are also asking everyone to avoid overpass. The state is expected to give an update on its unemployment benefit system today. Coloradans who need benefits have seen several problems, first with a system upgrade, then a lapse in federal assistance. The Department of Labor says it's adding more workers to the call center to minimize wait times. And close to 230 Coloradans became eligible to reopen unemployment insurance claims on Monday. Colorado delayed this by more than a month in order to meet an identity verification requirement. Broncos great Peyton Manning could soon add Hall of Famer to his list of achievements. He was voted a finalist last month and reports from Pro Football Talk says he's learned he made it even before this weekend's official announcement. Even the Broncos website put out an article this week highlighting Manning's achievements and noted that he would be the third Hall of Famer to come from the team. The official 2021 Hall of Fame class won't be announced until this Saturday. Lisa Hidalgo is here now with our Denver 7 Weather Action Day forecast. Okay, we picked up a little rain and some snow late last night. It, not a lot of areas picked up the snow. It just skirted the southern edge of the metro area. Now it's pushed from well off to the south and east of the metro. So we're actually going to gradually see some clearing skies. We talked yesterday about this being a really quick moving storm and a few people would see some snow and that's exactly where we saw it down near Castle Pines, Castle Rock and there along the Palmer Divide. Now skies are going to clear. It's definitely going to be a cooler day though today. This morning you're stepping out the door to temperatures mainly in the upper teens to low 20s and this afternoon we're going to hit highs right around 40 degrees so it is going to be a good 20 to about 25 degrees cooler than what we saw yesterday gone are the 60s from our super seven day cooler weather now settling in and there's another chance for some snow late friday into saturday